Australian scientists dredged the deep sea floor, here's what they found. In a dark world of crushing pressures and barren landscapes, creatures we've never seen before, and, likely, couldn't even imagine, are swimming. The ocean's abyssal zone begins over two miles beneath surface, it's so deep that light never touches it. What little we know about it comes from sediment dredged up from the seafloor and brief snapshots captured by remotely operated submarines. This makes it a gold mine for marine biologists, for whom each rare glimpse beneath the waves offers up a bounty of new species and rare observations. An international team led by researchers from Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization will soon wrap up a month-long expedition exploring the deep seas off of Australia's east coast. There, a massive, yawning rift not far from the coastline serves as a prime target for abyssal research. In daily dispatches, the team has detailed the results of their research as they come in, offering up images of glowing starfish, toothy predators, slender-stalked crinoids and more, many of them new to science. Conditions deep under the sea are far different from those at the surface, resulting in creatures that may look malformed to us, but which are actually well adapted to their unique environment. Take, for example, the blind cuskeel a fish that looks more like the larval stage of an alien butterfly. With transparent skin, underdeveloped muscles and gills and a skeleton that's only partly hardened, the blind fish seems ill-suited for survival. But, in an, an environment where there is no light and little food, the eel may simply be doing the best it can with what it's given. For a much more fearsome example of what evolution on the seafloor can produce, look no further than the viperfish. Wicked fangs and a mouth that can stretch to dizzying proportions make it a poor, defenseless blind cuskeel's worst nightmare. Thankfully, however, the viperfish is actually tiny, you could hold one easily in the palm of your hand, although you really probably shouldn't. In addition to its biological weaponry, the viperfish is a tricky hunter, making use of a glowing lure above its head to lure in prey and chomp them down. Some animals on the seafloor have adapted a more sedentary lifestyle. Crinoids are basically just a stalk with a crown of floppy arms, which they use to snag passing bits of food. They can move if they feel like, however, using their arms to pull themselves across the seafloor, a stalk dragging behind like a long tail. They have been around for some 500 million years, the researchers estimate and signs of their Triassic forebears are still visible in stony concretions formed by their stalks that litter the seafloor. Crinoids are hardy too, found everywhere from the shallows to depths of over 5 miles beneath the surface, arms waving gently in the current, 